Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe now. On the cross country, the wheel arches and lower body are edged in a band of plastic, in black or, as an option, body color. The front lower fascia and the rear bumper are redesigned. The grille trades its vertical chrome bars for black bars and set with tiny chrome squares. The window surround molding is black, and there are model specific 19 inch wheels. People who find even those minor changes a tragic bastardization should know that the regular V90 also will be sold here, but it arrives a few months later and will be available only via special order. The cross country sits about 2.6 inches higher than the standard V90, and all wheel drive is standard, as is hill descent control. The cross country will come to America in T6 form only, which means its 2.0 liter inline four cylinder is both turbocharged and supercharged, here making 316 horsepower and 295 pounds to foot of torque. The regular V90 will be available as the lower spec T5 as well, with the 250 horsepower turbocharged four and front wheel drive. The T8 plug-in hybrid version sold elsewhere won't appear in the U.S. market. Reindeer Crossing We drove the cross country in northern Sweden, and although we didn't see any moose, we did have one reindeer cross in front of us. The Winter Road maintenance philosophy there seems to be to let a base layer of ice form, then sprinkle grit on top. Studded winter tires, therefore, are a must, and our Volvos wore spiked Nokians. The cross country didn't seem to suffer much with the extreme winter footwear, as road noise at highway speeds remained low, and the electrically assisted steering still was fairly precise, wading up nicely off center. We've dinged the S90 sedan for its somewhat heavy footed ride. It's premature to make that call about the cross country, given the aforementioned winter tires and the near total absence of potholes on Swedish roads but the cross-country's ride quality should be a bit better. Its standard fitment rubber has taller side walls, 50 series versus 